Visa vya mimba za mapema vimeripotiwa kuongezeka, jambo ambalo limewapa wazazi na wadau wengine wa elimu wasiwasi. Niko form 1 na niko 13 years, nilipata ball na wazazi wangu bado wajijua. Niko form 3. Mm, lakini niko na mimba sahi. Niko na mimba ya miezi 4. Imebainika kwamba kupata hamasa kuhusu huduma za afya ya uzazi imekuwa changamoto haswa wakati huo ambapo shule zimefungwa. Approximately 300 to 400 young people are accessing services at the youth clinic. But with COVID the number has gone down. The, the, the month of April we, we saw half of that number. Vijana wengi wakisemekana kuhofia kutembelea vituo vya afya kutokana na msambao wa corona. Initially we used to have many young people coming. We can say in a day roughly around 60 to 70 coming in a day. But at the moment we've been forced to close some sections. Kadhalika, vijana wengi wanaogopa kuonekana wakitembelea vituo vilivyoko karibu na nyumbani kwao. Wazazi wengi hawana elimu ya kutosha kuhusu masuala ya afya ya uzazi. Wazazi wanaenda kazini. Wanawacha watoto nyumbani. Hawajui masaa yote kuanzia saa mbili mpaka saa kumi na mbili mtoto ameshinda namna gani. Na katika jitihada za kuziba pengo lililoko, kituo cha Family Health Options Kenya chini ya shirika ambalo hushughulikia masuala ya afya ya uzazi limekumbatia matumizi ya mitandao ya kijamii kuwafikia vijana na ujumbe huo. Kuna temporary. Okay. Kuna baria. Okay. Na non baria. Kwa hizo kuna yeyote ni ushaisikia. Vijana hutuma maswali ya kisiri kwenye mtandao na kupata majibu. Huduma hizi za mtandaoni zikitolewa katika kaunti za uwasengishu homa beina na kuru. Kimi tulemia sana. Personali kama mimi sasa. Kimi tulemia kabisa juu kikuja unambiwa wataki watu wengi, juu korona, unafaku keep distance. Na sasa unapata unakawia sana ukiongoja unakuna msimu nyana patient. Schools, the colleges, the, the universities, all these learning institutions were closed. Therefore, it means that young people went back to their various places. One of the challenges now that comes in with this is that uh, access to information has been an issue. Wataalam wa afya wanasema mimba za mapema siyo tu changamoto peke miongoni mwa vijana ambazo wazazi wanastahili kuwa makini. Girls who indulge in early sexual contact, the consequences are severe infections. And these infections include uh, even uh, cervical cancer because uh, there is human papilloma virus, HIV, even uh, gonorrhea, all those ones. They cause actually the pelvic system to be affected, so their future fertility will be affected definitely. They may not even have a baby. Calvin Chitwa, Runinga TV 47, County of West Ingishu.